Weasel News. What is up guys? Officer First 30 Minutes here. Today we are patrolling the city of Los Santos in this 2015 Dodge Charger. It has recently been updated. The collision models on this car now work. I no longer get clipped here at the edge. Has an Argent white bar at the top. Overall, it's just looking sweet. Fully modeled interior. I just uh, really like this car. So to start off this episode, we're going to get in our trunk get out our body armor and weapons so we'll be fully equipped for this patrol we're just gonna be taking call outs today doing traffic stops the normal stuff so join me on today's patrol okay we just had this uh, vehicle over here ram into another car so let me go ahead, turn on my lights and sirens and catch up to him. It's this black sedan up here. I'm just gonna get him for reckless driving. Let's go ahead and run that plate real quick though. Plate is 840 or OKR161. Oh, Look how he pulled over. Target license plate. What the heck? I believe this guy's intoxicated. This is not normal pullover behavior. And let me just pull up here on the curb so I'm not blocking traffic. So no flags or anything. Three citations. Let's go ahead and talk to the driver, see what's going on. I have a feeling this guy might run. All right, inside appears clean. Driver seems lethargic. Hmm, all right. How you doing today, sir? Notice you just ran into another vehicle. You're kind of driving all over the road. Can I see some identification Kick from off. you? All right, Joshua Graham, Mr. Graham, I'll be right back with you. Let's go ahead and run his name. So I'm thinking DUI automatically. License is expired, so he's not even supposed to be driving. Uh, he's he's going to be in trouble already. So what we're going to do is breathalyze him and do a drug drugalyzer test is what it's called to see if he has any drugs in, in his system. We'll go ahead and question him, though, to see if he just fesses up to doing, to doing drugs or alcohol today. So just straight up ask him if he's done anything illegal in the vehicle. He's telling us maybe he have been drinking. He said, uh, yes. Do you want some too? Illegal drugs? No. Uh, okay. He is giving us consent to search the vehicle though. So what we'll do is do a quick breathalyzer test. See if he blows over the, li the limit here. Oh yeah. Okay. Attention. He's over the limit anyway. I'm going to go ahead and ask him to leave the vehicle. He's going to be under arrest for DUI. Stupid. All right, man. Hands up. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol. Get on the ground. On the ground right now. Come on. All right. Suspect is complying with us, so that's always good. Let's go ahead. We'll do a quick pat down. Make sure he doesn't have anything on him. Don't want him bringing anything into jail that's not supposed to already be there. Found nothing of interest. So let's go ahead, just place him in the back of our charger. And then we'll call for a prisoner transport. So I believe the doors have also been fixed on this car. Let's uh, test it out here. All right, man, in the car. So let's see if I can close the door now. Yep, before the, the door, you would just walk through it. So we'll go ahead, call for prisoner transport to take him in. We're gonna just search the vehicle real quick. And then we'll go ahead and get it towed. Nothing in the trunk. It's like he has a can of soda or something in the cup holder. Some type of beverage. 
Not sure if it's alcohol or not though. Nothing there. Nothing in the engine compartment. Last place we're gonna check is the driver's side. Oh, <laughs> that was that was smooth right there. Later. All right, everything else is clean in the vehicle. Get the tow truck out here. So I really, really like this charger. This light bar setup is awesome. Police SEO is the author of this mod. He's also added this pretty cool grill guard up front with LED lights in it as well. So there's our tow truck. Oh my goodness. Taking it away and we're gonna continue our patrol. Attention all units. We've got a civilian in need of assistance in Rockford Hill. Units respond code three. Okay, <clears throat> dispatch is alerting us uh, about a police impersonator. Gonna go ahead and respond code three to this call. We're gonna need to talk to the 911 caller, get a description of the vehicle, and then we're gonna go out to find that vehicle. So police impersonation is a pretty serious crime. Don't ever do it. You can get in a whole lot of trouble really quickly. And, um, you know, it just in general gives people a distrust of the police. Uh, when people are impersonating them, they might try to take advantage of somebody. So it looks like <clears throat> the caller is in his vehicle on the golf course. <laughs> what the heck? All right. All right, GTA 5. That's how you want to do it. <laughs> We're going to have to go into the, the golf club and actually drive drive uh, on their pristine grass to get to that collar. Alright guys, you gonna stop for me? Perfect. We can probably cut off our siren now. Let's make our way onto the, the actual golf course where this collar is in his own personal vehicle. I don't know how he got back here or why he's back here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Alright guys, uh, you can build a police department for this one. We're going, we're going on this grass. I'm not going to walk all, all the way over there. Oh, oh yeah. Tearing up that grass. Sorry guys. Whew. I am leaving a mess. Look at this. Let's do a little, some donuts. Let's just tear up this grass. This grass tears up so easily too. Oops. Oh, wow. I was totally on this when that water hazard there. All right. So where is he? It's actually on the trail. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Now I gotta drive all the way back out. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. Driving a nice vehicle. Alright, show me on location dispatch. Let's go ahead and talk to this caller. Get a description of that vehicle. How you doing today, sir? Can you give me a description? Oh geez, officer, I'm glad to see you. This car came up behind me and flashed red and blue lights. That was a cop, so naturally I pulled over. Guy gets out, walks up, pulls out a gun. Took my wallet, my credit cards, and everything. So not only did he get pulled over by this impersonator, he was robbed. I was so scared, I thought he was going to kill me. But yeah, about his car, it definitely wasn't a police car. But it was dressed up to look like one. It's a model that you guys drive, I think. So it looks like it's gonna be a stain, stainer, graphite color. Last, Last three in, digits of the plate uh, were 928. Alright man, appreciate that. I'm going to have to go ahead and find this vehicle now. Yo, radius has been the last siding of the vehicle. It's going to take a minute for us to go ahead and get off this golf course. So let's do that. Then we're going to find this stainer. I think that's how you say it. It is a police model. Well, at least the police use a version of it for patrol. So go this way, get back on the road here. 
So lately I've been having a few issues with my GTA 5 game. It's been crashing, at least Rage Hook has been. Tends to happen more in the uh, the Boyne County area. So if you see a lot more city patrols, I'm just trying to avoid that area. I'm not sure what the problem is. There's like so many variables with what could be causing the game to crash. It gets super frustrating. Anyone who plays LSPDFR knows this. It's just something that comes with the territory. It's not as bad as LCPDFR, but the city so far today has seemed pretty stable, which I am super thankful for. Let me cut my sirens to alert other drivers so they can get out of the way. So this car is graphite colored. What, is it this vehicle? No. I think it looks similar to this right here, but that is not it. Let's go this way. This is the fun part. Obviously in real life, when you're looking for a car, you can just call it out to your other buddies in the area and they'll keep an eye out. But really we are a uh, one man team here. So we got to do all the work ourselves. And I, and I really don't want to obey traffic laws when I'm trying to find this vehicle. It would take 10 times longer. But realistically, that's what you would do. You want to just go riding around code three in your patrol car looking for it. But we will find it. It takes a lot of driving around. The only clues you really get are this yellow radius and even that is not 100% accurate and it should update here as the car moves around the area. The circle is just sometimes a little slow to update. So that's why I'm kind of checking the boundaries as well. I'm gonna head through here. That's crazy. So I've gotten a lot of requests also. What is this? I don't think that's it. We've gotten a lot of requests recently to um, use the PLP 50, which is a super tiny cop car. It seats one person. I assume it's got all the uh, normal equipment in it, but it is so tiny. It's so funny. If you haven't seen the vehicle, look it up. It's called PLPEEL space P50. Okay, we just had to update it search area. See, look how far it is. I'm gonna flip around here, head over to that area. It's just super slow to update sometimes, but that's also kind of realistic. Um, we're basing the location off the of sightings. You know, you can assume from other police officers or just a civilian who maybe also got pulled over, called it in. So let's see what we got here. I also do plan on doing another live stream. It probably won't be as late as you guys would like, but, um, Right now, my schedule, it's just, it doesn't uh, have time for doing these patrols or live streams later in the day. Is this a car right here? This car's acting a little erratically. Nope. People are doing a good job of pulling over at least. <clears throat> Also point on doing another Escalade patrol. You guys really seem to like that vehicle. And uh, it was I had a lot of fun doing that. And also what else? I plan on doing the tow truck again in the city. Probably at nighttime. Do a nighttime towing episode. So we can make use of those rear facing lights. I think that would be a lot of fun. Where is this guy? Like, I think this is a model car we're looking for, I want to say. 90% confident. So any graphite colored car I'm like taking a look at. We know the last three digits of the plate, and but when I see it, it should automatically register that that's the vehicle.
That is not 923. So it looks like he's had it westbound on Del Perro Boulevard. Let's see if we can catch him through here real quick. Probably went straight to some up ahead. Nope. Then you gotta figure, do you go left or right? Alright, we found them. It was that model. I think the game was toying with me by putting all these different colored same model vehicles around me. So dispatch, go ahead and show me in pursuit of the police impersonator. Gonna go ahead and call two additional backup units to assist us in this pursuit. Headed eastbound on Dorset Avenue. It's like he's stuck behind a vehicle here. Yep. That's what the stinger looks like. Alright man, just give it up. We might be blocked here. Sometimes they get blocked behind other traffic, which is awesome. I love that. Oh my gosh. Cop car just barged through the intersection there. Not the safest maneuver. If this continues for much longer, we're going to go ahead and request a pit maneuver. See if we get clearance to do so. Just waiting on backup. Backup is very aggressive, as you guys know. Oh my gosh. We got three 2015 Chargers in pursuit of this vehicle. It's like suspect crash, but uh, let's head it back. We're going to go ahead and request a pit maneuver for this vehicle. I believe the chase is just getting a little too dangerous going through these intersections. We are clear to perform a pit. So let's go ahead, try one up here head. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt a pit right now. Spun the vehicle around, but the suspect's still going. I'm gonna go ahead and try to I think I think we got him stuck here. Go weapons drawn out of the vehicle, man. Out of the car. Oh, he did have a weapon. Looks like he dropped it. Let me go ahead and pick that up. Jeez, man. Wow, what a pursuit. Look at this one cop car. He totally crashed into this building. It's like invisible right there. Wow, that was crazy. I'll go ahead and do the pat down. Make sure he's clean. That's the one thing I hate. The arresting officer, they never do the pat down. You never know what these guys have on them. So he's clean. Prisoner of transport has been called. I'll hang out here with them. Looks like they're walking right now to come pick him up. So found some drugs and forged ID cards in the back. I love when they clean up their own vehicles. Sometimes it happens. This charger right over there is mine, but um, we got a door here also. Go ahead and get the car. In the roadway, we'll probably try to move that one. This car, I don't think is gonna be drivable at all. I, I think this is from a Dodge Charger. Let's see if we can, I can't push it out of the way. <laughs> Okay, let's just check this passenger side and we'll go ahead and call for that tow truck to get out here. Probably going to call a plate check in too just to see if it was stolen or not. Do that plate check real quick. Yep, it does match the plate we were given. 
So that works out perfectly. Target license plate. The registration year. Oh, it was reported stolen, actually. It's good to know. Okay, let's get that tow truck out here. Go ahead and send a, di a tow truck out to my location. Let's move this vehicle up a little bit. How damaged am I? Front bumper is about to fall off, but I think I can keep using it. I've gotten a couple of challenges to use the same patrol car throughout the episode, so I'm going to try to do that. Um, if it gets too damaged though, I'll go ahead and repair it, but uh, if it's still drivable, I will use it for the whole episode. It looks to be just cosmetic, even though this front bumper is kind of falling off and I have a headlight out. So here's the tow truck coming in to pick up the vehicle. All right, we'll go ahead and call this code four. In need of assistance in uh, Alpha units respond code two. Roger that. Roger. All right, One, dispatch is telling us four, there's an unknown two. trouble call right up the street from us. Let's go ahead and respond code two to this scene. Lights only, and then we'll blow the horn going through the intersection. Code 2 is not as urgent as Code 3 call outs. And then sometimes you don't even go code to a call out. It's just normal driving. Let's get through this intersection here. Okay, looks like it's going to be down this alleyway. We, I have no idea what to expect with this call out. Dispatch, we have a visual. One, we need to go ahead and investigate four. the area. Let me go ahead and just park this car here. We'll go out on foot and just check it out. Make sure nothing's going on here. Looking for any signs of something unusual. Head around this way. Then we'll cut back here through the alleyway. Nothing's looking out of place here. Let's walk back here and see what's going on. Everything looks clear back here. At our discretion, we can go ahead and give it the all clear. We're not seeing anything. I'm not finding anything. We'll go right across the street here too before we call it quits. Oh, yeah, look at this. We got a dead body here. So we'll go ahead and press Y to call it a homicide detective. We've got a dead body, possible 187, requesting a detective over. All right, I'm getting told to not leave the scene. She already has flies around the body too. Not looking good. Homicide detectives showing up here. Look at that in that unmarked Impala. That looks so cool. The body is actually shaking. Hey, te Detective Vinda, homicide. What do you got? Got a GSW. No real signs of a struggle. I'll get started on the case file. You can go ahead and call the coroner. So we'll call the coroner out. I love that unmarked Impala. I need to use it in an episode, actually. By BX Bugs. I need to go ahead and also install the, the 2014 Mart unit. Just such an awesome car. And I, I saw a pretty cool airport decal set up for it. So we could do a airport patrol with it. So corners coming on scene here. Go ahead and take that body. take pictures of the scene I don't know what happened we had a dead body here detective said no real signs of struggle 
All right. So code four on this call out. That's going to conclude my patrol for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, leave you, me your suggestions down in the comments below. I'll take a look at them, and I'll see you guys on the next patrol.